become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and after recently sharing an interview explaining how Don Howarth tried to get wide like Steve Reeves with the infamous wide sweater photo shown here, I received many comments from people saying that this photo was a fake, that Don was wearing padding underneath the sweater to make him look wide, etc. So I decided to directly address this with Don regarding this photo, and in today's interview, this is what he had to say. Mind you, this phone conversation was recorded on the 5th of September just yesterday with Don's voice only as Don was recently in hospital with some health complications, but he is feeling better now. Okay, um, well in that case, um, I just had a very simple question to ask you, and that is um, in, regards to, in regards to the sweater photo, the, the wide sweater photo. Um, well, that pissed me off. Yeah, that pissed me off. Seeing the way that I got paddings on there. Yeah, I mean, so so people have been. Uh, I, I did a, a video recently showcasing this uh, iconic photo of you, and people were claiming that it was a fake photo, that you had padding underneath the sweater and things like that. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, you know, yeah, that pissed me off. No. What do you say to these people? <laughs> Stick out their ass. <laughs> you know, I'm here with the book. The book. I don't have to explain to them any fucking thing that goes on in my life. Yeah, so... I'm, so, very, I'm very personal anyway. Yeah, you know, I know they're going to... Listen, that sweater was made for a very close friend of mine, and his wife evidently uh, has never sewed before or did whatever it was, so... When he put it on, it fit like a bag. When I put it, put it on, uh, uh, it fit, fit great. And I was telling somebody what was coming down, uh, as I heard on the, uh, you know, from some people. And uh, I said, they said I had padding on. I said, well, you didn't have any padding on. So, so you're saying that this is just you underneath, there's no padding, no nothing, just you. Yeah, it's just me. Um, I only I, I was looking at I'm trying to see if I had a, a shirt. So I had to have some some kind not a t shirt, maybe a maybe a tank top. I don't remember. Well, <laughs> I'm only um asking. I, I don't, hey, I don't understand. I don't understand why anybody would care anyway. Only to say, oh, oh, that's nobody's that big. I mean, that, that kind of pops into. But what? See, now you know why I didn't go on to the bodybuilding field. Hmm. Yeah, I can understand. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the answer. That's what uh, I mean. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What a simple, what a simple ass question, you know, putting a <laughs> brain to. I mean, it's, it's, I, yeah, it's just bizarre. But anyway, okay. Um, just to let you know, all you had underneath was a white collar shirt in the yeah, photo. Yeah, well, my, I'd have to look at it again. I think, I think, uh, because I, I, I wore I wore a rule like shirts that uh, that my I'd, I'd buy uh, as large as I can get some pennies and my mom would take and cut them off and pull in the waist a bit because uh, it's, it'd be like wearing a tent around, you know. <laughs> I can imagine. So it really um, is an iconic photo because it highlights how wide oh, you yeah, really were. Okay, here, okay, here, okay. Here's the point. Why? Excuse my line. Why do you want to fucking lie about it? Because once you lie, you got to straighten it up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I think it's a really iconic photo because it really showcases um, how wide you really were. And uh, I think well, it's... Well, yeah, but, yeah consider, consider my body weight that time. I was just... I just... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I, 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 see, I got divorced and uh, I think uh, Gene and I moved over to North Hollywood and it was I was over when I went to business I weighed about 217 or, or 220 because I remember he called me fat boy and so I, then I said myself well man this could be a great trip Don so but anyway uh, I weighed probably 
seventeen to two twenty. Mm-hmm. So at the Mr. America, I weighed one ninety seven. That's a big drop in weight. Yeah, you were pretty big there. You were pretty big. Yeah, but but you know, I I did march for a long time, but I, as we call, we got that uh, got that uh, glazed look. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's called fat. <laughs> Um, thanks for, um, answering that and addressing that, that, well, addressing the photo because, um, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, well, I mean, I hate to be, listen, you know, you gotta know me by now because I'm very blunt. I, you know, I've heard some ridiculous shit over the years, you know. Oh yeah. I, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Okay. I, I like, I like your honesty, Don. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, that, you know, it's just, you know, I was told a long time ago, you know, you start bullshitting people, but then, then you got to back your, you got to back yourself up, remembering the bullshit you put out. So, that's so true. you know, I, I, I've made mistakes, but it's just, uh, uh, I, it's just, <laughs> I just don't like to say what it is, because, uh, well, I want to know right up front, life goes too fast for mundane. Um, uh, uh, that question is just so mundane. It's uh, well, anyway. Well, um, you have a good day. I'm glad, I'm glad I could answer your uh, inquisitive nature. Yeah, no problem. As Don explains, the sweater he wears in the photo was given to him by a friend of his whose wife didn't know how to knit, and the resulting sweater was too big for his friend. So Don tried it on, and it fit just right. Don remembers having a white t-shirt underneath the sweater, but denies having any padding of any sort under the sweater. Don was clearly upset with the accusations he was receiving, and even states that at times he had to have his shirts fitted in by his mother because he had such a wide frame and shoulders and a tiny waist. As Don clearly says, there is no point lying about things in life, Otherwise, you then have to remember the lie and back up what you were saying. And that's some pretty wise advice. Now, if you want to do as Don did and emulate the great Steve Reeves and the wonderful physique he was able to achieve, then please head on to my website, www.goldenerabookum.com and check out the following titles that will help you achieve that wonderful V-taper. Steve Reeves' specialization courses on shoulders, waist and calf development, as well as Reeves' ribcage expansion, full body routine are all available, as well as Don Howarth's book on developing dynamic delts, all on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. So there you have it, that was Don's response to the wide sweater photo, it's just Don's fantastic frame under there, and no padding, it's not a fake photo. I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share and leave me your comments. To support the channel, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, or visit my website for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding, and email to collaborate or to pass on your bodybuilding relics. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm 12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.